Hey guys, good morning out there. Hey, I'm coming to you with bed head and headband. Isn't that awesome? I love it. <laughs> and it's kind of a cloudy day here in New Hampshire, so I'm hoping this lighting is pretty good. Got, I have my coffee this morning. I'm super excited because I love to use a specific brand of coffee that is infused with coconut oil, uh, green tea extract, and alkalizing minerals. And it works for me, man. Like I realize that now that I've been drinking it, and it's pretty high quality stuff, like the filtering process and the processing process, which can sometimes like really like is where some of the chemicals get into the coffee and really make it not so good for you. And um, it has a nasty afterbite. If I drink this, and then when I ran out and I was waiting for it to be shipped to me in the pinch, you know, I go to the store and I get coffee, and then it gives me headaches. So you don't realize sometimes how the quality of coffee matters. I am um, good morning Rancy um, sometimes I'm all about being economical but when it comes to coffee I'm gonna say that I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna spend that extra buck or two and get the high quality stuff because if I don't I end up getting headaches and I can taste almost that like chemical afterbite from the processing and some of the cheaper coffees it's nasty it's kind of like if you use Tupperware and I'm not dissing the Tupperware brand I'm saying is not that funny like they're so well branded any plastic wear in general, right? Cuz, what's up? Um, you can, if you use plastic wear in the fridge and then you stop using it and you use the glass, the glass storage containers, I swear when you go back to using plastic, and I'm saying use glass for a while, you can actually taste the plastic in your food. I'm not playing, and I'm not talking about heating it up in the plastic. You can take it out of the plastic, put it on the plate, and you can taste that stuff. It's so, you got to realize it's we get so used to some gross things in our culture, our society, and, and that we do. And then when you don't do it and you go back, you're like, how did I not notice that? That's gross. So imagine what it's doing to our insides. Okay, gross. All right. So that's not about, this ain't about that. This ain't about that. Yes, you can taste it. I know. Isn't it lovely? It's kind of like going, if you drink spring water and then you go to the kitchen sink after a while and you get tap water, you're like, oh my God. And you even make pasta and rice with it. And you're like shoot man I can taste the town water in this food that's gross it's so gross all right so that's fun um isn't that nice so here I am today I'm gonna try this stuff Whoop, there we go this is royalty baby this is the instant lifting serum that's supposed to be well I don't want to say supposed to be because I've seen friends of mine doing live streams also with this so amazing when it says instant lifting, they mean it. Like it's instant within minutes, and it's supposed to work for lines, wrinkles, brightening up um, dark circles, which are just my favorite. And I've just enjoyed my whole life. And um, they're supposed to take it away, like away, for eight to ten hours. This is what I'm talking about. And I, I even heard my sponsor say that it works so well that down at convention that they were in um, at the beginning of this month, the legal team had to get involved in the before and after pictures for the company catalog because it was so good they had to like be present and witness before they advertised stated this in their catalog so yikes I'm gonna do that so this is launching officially September 15th um, I people in my VIP group you can get samples of it if you would like to try thanks cuz for the love um, and the entire skincare line is coming out as well. There's a whole skincare line for Unique coming out with this royalty, including a charcoal-based uh, detoxifying mask. Oh, I, I can't wait for this stuff because you know what? I'm in my 40s, and it's time to really focus on taking care of skin. <laughs> you really should be doing this much earlier on, but I didn't do that. I was in my 20s. I was one of those who was notorious for falling asleep. I'm not a night person falling asleep while everybody's up partying and I was passed out by midnight or so and I'm like wake me up to uh, wash my face okay and no nobody could wake me up and like you know I was in college like in the dorm room snoring and everyone's still up talking and nobody could wake me up to wash my face so it's true that if you fall asleep with makeup on and stuff you age your skin a little bit every time you do that so when you're in your 20s you don't notice the damage being done um, but it does happen. It's happened. It's cumulative effect. Um, and yeah, now that you're in your 40s, it kind of matters a lot more. At least it does to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be doing this now. I've been doing a skincare regimen 
for a while and I noticed the difference big time people have asked me lately like what do you do why do you look so young why like what's up with that and I used to be in the Sun a lot when I was younger I'm talking a lot the you know, baby oil and stuff like like <laughs> nasty yeah remember the Sun in you put the Sun in in your hair to try to get it blonder and you like what was that and so turn my hair orange but you know, I did not take care of my skin at all. So, and it's okay because I've now started to do a regimen. And here's the keys to, to skincare regimen. People are like, well, when do you see the results? When do I see the results? You know, people always want to know how fast. All right, people. Some of these things, we live in a fast world, but it doesn't happen quickly. Results take time. I say it with my business. I say it with relationships. I say it with everything. Parenting, oh my gosh. Consistency and patience. Two things, whatever you're doing, especially skincare, you got to do it every day, not just one or two days a week. You can't like you can't go to the gym one or two days a week and, you know, tone up every single day. And I would give skincare at least yeah, peaking. Ah, um, I'm not surprised. We'll see if I get through this today. The past 2 days, 3 days have not worked for these things. Um, consistency and patience. Give it at least a month. So, I do washing of the face, a night cream, a wash, toner, um, moisturizer, primer, and now this. All right, so here we go. I just opened the, this is literally brand new, and the first time I've used this pump. So I'm going to go ahead, and from what I heard now, what I've seen, you just take a little bit and you pat it on the areas where you're looking to do. You can either do your whole face or you can do spots. So I'm going to do spots because it's my first time. So I can kind of see, ooh, it's foamy. I didn't expect that. Okay, so I'm doing the dark circles because in the lines here. And yeah, I'm going to get going here. Doing this, I'm going to go here in the middle. Yeah, look at, ooh, worry, worry lines. Uh oh, time for me to stop worrying. Let's do that. Yeah, let, yeah let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Um, yes, we all have our lines because we've lived lives and, oh, I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. Let's do the smile lines. It's all good. Yes, we love our lines. We love ourselves. They all have meaning. But you know what? Hey, sometimes I'm just going to... Doesn't, doesn't doesn't hurt to kind of, you know, some days look kind of smooth, right? We can be smooth. It's all good. It's up to us. The sun does do a lot of damage, though. It's it's nice, nice to protect your skin. So that's key as you're going on skincare regimen too. Protect and hydrate, exercise, hydrate, drink water. I'm so bad with that. I have to get so much better with that. I'm gonna admit it, y'all. I have to get better with the water. That's some like the first thing I forget is drinking enough water during the day. Good morning, Anne Marie. How are you, my love? All right. So I can totally feel this right now. And I'm waiting. Ooh, see how it kind of, see, I can totally see my, I can see like something's going on here. Like it kind of like almost like sunk in for a bit there. What do you think? Getting brighter? I should probably not be doing that. Let, let it do its thing and not be. I took a before picture before I turn the camera on here. So I will do an after. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna do an after picture. I'm gonna put more on, because I probably just... Holy moly. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it... I'm gonna have my resting... I don't wanna say biatch face, because geez, I'm not a biatch, am I? I'm just gonna take, have resting mom face. So I don't, all right. So cuz, what are you doing this morning? I wanted to come down there at some point. You gotta tell me what happened the other day. What was the result? You don't have to say it here, obviously, but let me know. So. Right now it feels like, I can feel it getting tighter that's fresh. I can feel almost like a little bit of heat and then I can feel it tightening. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. 
So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead soon. And Oh, you know what I wanted to do? My kids bust in the room, and I was talking about Facebook messaging the other day. Okay, here it is real quick before anyone busts in, because it seems like when I talk stuff, somehow they hear it from the living room, and like they get some transmission in the air, and they're like busting in. So I was talking about ways not to message people. If you're going to message people personally, a lot of people connect. Does it feel hard? Nope. No, does it feel like it's hard or doesn't feel like it's super firm? Like I'm like this, like in like resting fear face, <laughs> like the plastic surgery people like, mm. nope, it feels cool. Um, so if you're messaging people and you want to talk and you're, you know, I would say number one is here's three quick rules. Don't have an agenda. Don't message people with some sort of agenda for either selling something, even if it's personal, like, you know, I don't know. Don't ever have an agenda when you're messaging. Just let it go. Let go of the result and just talk to people like normal, right? Like you normally would going to a party, going anywhere. Just talk to people and make the conversation about something totally cash. That's awesome. I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm in. Speaking of I'm in. Um, so to if you are interested in me pre-ordering September 1st, because I can, um, Get into my VIP group if you're not in there already. That's what I'm doing for them. I'm going to pre-order on September 1st. And then this officially comes out September 15th. So that's how it's going to roll. And um, I just have a little bit on the cap. I'm going to go ahead and just smear it. I'm prob now my face will be tight. I'll put so much on that I'll be like, ah! Um, so, you know, don't have an intention or some sort of agenda when you're messaging people. Just talk to them like you would anybody else. Make it casual with no outcome. It's all good. If you're in sales or you're in, in business or home business, it's you're not out to get people. You're just out to meet people and talk. Um, and if they end up doing business with you, either by buying product or through being on your team, great. If not, great. I mean, it's any new connection is a fun thing to do. Um, it's good to meet new people. It's fun. Um, something that I wish that I did years ago. Some people make that a practice that I know, like literally meet a few new people a day and always like connect with friends at least twice a week, like in person. Man, I wish I did that years ago, decades ago. I sort of lost touch with everybody in my life when I moved to way out into the country and to God's country out here. And I was sort of isolated, me and like babies. And you know, that's not always good. I love my kids, man. I love them with all my heart and soul, but whoa. I mean, you need to you need to connect with people and you lose those relationships. You're not adding value to their life anymore and it's hard. It's hard to recover that and it takes work. So, um, yeah. So what, uh, I'm trying, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I think I, you can't like totally take away lines. So if I go like this, I can see, but I can also see that like just resting, I don't see them really anymore. So that's interesting definitely a brighter brighter look hmm. but I'll do the before and after picture so then you can really see the difference um, and the second thing is you know don't give people links to your business when you're messaging people and you're just meeting them I had that happen on my birthday you guys people were like hey happy birthday Jen they sent me like a private message how you doing happy birthday I was like hey thanks cool and then they're like oh by the way do you want to you think of a new business uh, link and I'm like really I mean if you know me the answer is no and even if it was, it's my birthday, so chill, man. So links are just really impersonal, and they're really, you know, you get to know somebody, and you don't do that. You just don't do that. You don't send somebody a link to a business, and just, you know, it's just really cheesy. <laughs> what can we say? Um, I don't, unless people ask, I'm not doing that. People should be, people don't want to be sold to. They don't want to be feeling like that. Um, they want to buy on their terms, in their time, and how they want to do it. Right? You go to Target and you walk around the store and you look for what you want and you get what you want. And maybe you just browse because you want to browse, but you don't want people following you, asking you, you want this? Do you want that? What can I do? That's like a link. Like, get away. Um, and then maybe change your wording. When you finally do get to that conversation about business, watch your wording. If you say, hey, would you be interested in taking a look at this? They'll be like, no. Like, no. Am I interested? No. I mean, I have so much going on in my life, right, that I'm not interested in that. Um, you know, say something else, like, you know, if I was, you know, if I was to send you, and this is, you know, in the conversation when it's appropriate, if I was to show you um, a way that I'm making extra money from home, would you be open to it? Or would you be willing to look at this quick video? Like, ask them if they're open to you. Invite. Don't, 
you know, ask, don't eat, don't tell, don't demand, don't just assume, don't just give and just vomit, verbal vomit. Just ask if they're willing. Are you willing to it? Are you open to it? And if they are, great. If not, cool. You know, that's what I'm saying today. But other than that, I'm thinking this is really good stuff now. And I'm thinking I'm liking it. So I'm going to go take my after picture and finish my coffee. I did the live stream early today so that my kids weren't going to freak out. Because if you've seen the past couple, well, yesterday I didn't even put it on. I didn't even post it because it got so it got so out of control in the other room. Like I had to like split, and like the whole thing was just kind of when I have when I start hearing them fight and like I rush and I rush and I get distracted, and so it just kind of took away the whole purpose of it. But this is how things roll. If you want to work from home, sometimes things like that happen. I'd rather have that happen than be in an office for eight, ten, twelve hours a day. Because I've been there, done that. No. So, that's the deal. That sometimes that stuff happens and we just go forward. Shocked at work. Seriously, didn't expect that. Ha ha. Did not expect. I know, I didn't expect it to be. I love, see, anything that takes, reduces my dark circles, I'm in. I've had those damn things my entire life. So, yeah. Take those Sicilian circles right out of the picture. Love being Italian. But, you know what? No. Maybe it's just tired. Maybe it's just, you know, mom stuff. All right. So, does anyone have any other questions or anything to cool to tell me? Like, you're going somewhere cool today. And, because this is our last week before school, so we're kind of, you too, LOL. <laughs> um, so, I, um, yes. So, are you saying you're Italian, Emery, also? Because sometimes Costa, I know, can be Italian, and sometimes it can be Portuguese. So, um, I'm just gulping the coffee down. I'm getting ready to do my thing. I gotta hang out with the kiddos today. Oh, and what do you do, when does this come into skincare regimen? So this would be, after washing your face, before moisturizer. So the next thing would be, you are my spirit animal. Thank you, because you are mine too. Always have been. Uh, Anne-Marie, you are Italian, yay. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So now you'd moisturize. Oh, Jen, let me tell how silly. I'm going to put it on my neck because I forgot. I got to take my picture. I don't want to be too shiny in the picture. But you'd moisturize and then you'd prime. So that would be, be how the skincare would work from here. And then makeup. But I'm, I'm going to do no makeup for right now. We're going to go free today. We're free. All right, ladies. Well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being on. And if you're not in my VIP group and you want to pre-order this, and then I do all sorts of other videos in there too, and sometimes giveaways because I can be fun like that. Let, uh, let me know and I'll give you access. And um, again, you can pre-order with me for September 1st, and um, I'll be one of the first ones to order for you when it launches. Otherwise, September 15th it comes out, and until supplies last, so it's probably going to be a crazy, crazy ordering process there. So let me know. Enjoy your day too, Rancy. Thank you so much. One of the sweetest people. Rancy, you are awesome. You're such a, a light in this world. It's not even funny. Um, have a great day. You too, Anne-Marie. So I'm off to it. Love everybody, and I will see you on the next live stream. Have a good day, everyone.